Hey guys, what's going on? Rob from MyPPCTraining.com. Today's video, I am going to walk you through setting up all of your conversion pixels to track form submission leads, uh, call extension phone calls, and actually calls from directly from your website that came from AdWords traffic. And we're going to use only AdWords um, tracking conversion pixels for this. So we're not going to use a third party like CallRail today. That's for a different video. So the whole point of tracking your um, tracking your leads is you, you cannot run an AdWords campaign successfully without knowing what keywords and ad groups and ads and everything leads are coming from versus which keywords are driving traffic that's just bleeding your budget and wasting your money. All right, so it, it, you should never even attempt to run an AdWords campaign if you if you don't have tracking set up. So that's why this is very important. So the first, the first um, tracking pixel we're gonna set up is gonna be our, our form submission tracking. So if, if someone lands on your site from AdWords, and they go and they fill out a contact form, you need that to fire as a lead, okay? So that's what we're gonna set up first. So we're gonna log into our demo AdWords account here, and I have erased all of our conversion tracking that I've set up, so we're gonna do it from scratch. Watch over my shoulder. First thing we're gonna do is come up here to Tools, go to Under Measurement to Conversions. All right, now we're under Conversions. You're gonna hit this little plus guy here. We're gonna do Website, enter your conversion name, Say, you know, name whatever you want, contact form, lead, or whatever. Categories, and your lead. You can set a value for how much you want the lead to count as, like a dollar value. Or you don't need one, doesn't really matter. It's up to you. Count, you don't want, you want to take this off ever. You want it to be one. You don't want Google counting multiple leads for one, for one lead. If someone lands on a thank you page and maybe they refresh it on X or something like that, it could, it could fire the, the pixel twice and count as two leads. Stuff like that. There's a few other examples, but for right now, that's all you need to know. Just grab one. Conversion window 30 days. View through one. Include conversion. Yes. Last click. Looks good. Create and continue. We're going to install the tag ourselves. This is really simple. So we're going to take the global site tag here. And this goes on every single page of your website between the head tags. Okay. So if you're using a one landing page, then this goes on that landing page on the main the main landing page. If you're using a website, it goes on every single page on your website. So for us, we're using Instapage. We come over here to our uh, roof for later that we're using for this example. We're going to log into the page. And I honestly, I probably already have this on here, but I'm just show you how to do it anyway. We're going to come up here to settings. HTML. So we don't have that. So we'll go back. HTML. Head tag. Paste. That's all we're going to do. Okay, that's dropping our site tag on the landing page. Hit update. Saves it live on the page. And we're done. Okay, now the next step is your event snippet code. This also goes in the head tag, but only goes on the thank you page that shows after your contact form is submitted. That is the only page this goes. So please don't put this anywhere else or it's not going to work. So for that, we copy the code. We're going to go back out into our instant page account. And then we're going to log into our thank you page that shows after the form is submitted. Here, HTML. Let's see, we already have it here. Just paste this new one. So we paste it in the head tag. Hit update, makes it live on the page. And that's it. You just set up conversion tracking for a form submission or contact form leads. All right, so the next one we're going to do is, is going to be a call extension um, call tracking. So we're going to come over here to phone calls. We're going to check this little box, calls from ads using call extensions or call only ads. Continue. Name it. It's going to be a lead. We're not going to 
is a value. Count it as one. Now here's something that's important. When do you want the pixel to fire and count it as a lead? It gives you how many seconds you want to fire. 60 is the default it gives you. It could be 30, 25, 5, 3. It doesn't really matter. You set how many seconds that you want to fire as a lead. Usually, this if if you set it, what I do is set it 25 seconds because that's a really long time if you if you uh, are calling someone and that's like a ton of rings. So I, I count that as a lead because that can be anywhere from like 10 to 15 rings before it uh you know before no one answers or hits voicemail or whatever. So you set that wherever you want to set that at. Uh, keep this all the same. Create continue. And you're done with that. Now I'm going to show you how to hook that up if you want to use that. All right. So we're going to come out of conversions. We're going to go into a campaign. So we're going to one of our call games. So let's say we want to use the call extension conversion pixel we just set up. We're going to come up here to, into the campaign you want to use it in. Go under ads and extensions. Come up here. Go to extensions. We're going to go into the Call extensions. There we go. Call extension. Apply. And we're going to go in here. And where it says count conversions as, we're going to pick our conversion we just created. Call extension calls. Save. And now that means you're using. The, actually, there's one more thing I want to show you too. You have to make sure you have call reporting set up too. If not set up, but checked on. All right, if you don't know what it is, hover over it. Gives you a little brief thing about how it, how it works or whatever. It's just a forwarding number. So have that on. Make sure this box is checked. Choose your conversion that we just set up. Hit save. So that's that. So now we're tracking contact form submissions and we're tracking calls that come from ads in Google. Next, we're going to track people who come from AdWords and go to your website and just maybe click the call a number on your website. So go back into conversions. Come over here, hit phone calls, calls to a phone number on your website, continue, name it whatever you want, calls from website, lead, I'm using the value, one time, so you want to fire as a lead after 25 seconds. Looks good. Create and continue. We're going to install the tag ourselves. <clears throat> so remember, we need the global site tag on every page of the la every landing page between the head tag, or if you're on, if it's your own website, on every page in the head tag. Now, if you'll remember, if we if you already set up contact form um, conversion tracking, then you already know we already have this code on every page, so we're good. We don't need it. All right, so what we're going to do is come down here to phone snippet, and we're going to drop the phone number right here. So this is really important. The only phone number that you have to have here is a phone number that's on, it's got to be a static number that's on the landing page, okay? And what do I mean by that? Let's just go into Because if it's not a static number, if it's a rotating, like <clears throat> I think for this page we have call we have a call rail set up so the number swaps. Yep, because here's our code for that. So if I can just uh, so this number, <clears throat> let's say this is our number. This this is this should be the only number on the website, all right? Whatever that main number is, because that's what Google is going to swap out one of their forwarding numbers with to track the phone calls, all right? So that number should be everywhere then. Minus down here where you want to put your ad extension phone number. <clears throat> if you have a tracking number for it, I should say. All right, so we're going to grab the number that's on our website or our landing page that we want Google to swap for the tracking number to track phone calls. We're going to paste that right here. We're going to uh, hit create snippet. And remember, guys, as I always say, if, you, if you're confused about something, hover these little question marks. It gives you like a quick little synopsis of what's going on. All right, so install the snippet tag. This goes in the head tag on your landing page or on every page of your website. So we come back.
back up here and we'll just drop it right below our global site tag. Hit update makes it live and we're done with that. Just hit next. And we just set up calls from the website, set up our call extension calls, and we set up our contact form submission <coughs> tracking. So that's that's the basics of how to set up your conversion tracking with AdWords. And this is assuming you don't want to use a third party um, call tracking software like CallRail, which is what we use. And um, I highly recommend you do use third party because you can track you can track all the phone calls um, down to the keyword, which you can in, in this too. But it kind of get Google can be a little buggy sometimes, but in CallRail you can um, you can record calls, you can play greetings, you can create call flows, you can uh, call score the lead score stuff like that. It's really cool, so I highly recommend you do use that. But if you can't, if you're on a tight budget or something like that, then this is what you guys got to do. All right, just make sure you have all three tracking um, set up. It's really important. <clears throat> and if you guys like this video, please make sure you subscribe to our channel. I really appreciate that. Give me a thumbs up if you can. Make sure you check out the links in the description below this video. I dropped some cool stuff in there for you, including a um, free AdWords optimization guide I created that um, I think you guys will dig. So other than that, I will see you guys in the next video. I think we're, the next one we're going to go into is, um, what are we looking at today? I think we're going into call-only campaigns, so that'll be fun. All right, I'll see you guys in the next video.